Good day YouTube, Easy Esky here, out for another ride. So today I present a small section of the old Pacific Highway. Traveling this route always puts me back into the 1970s. We would come to visit my father's father, who for a time resided in Mooney Mooney. Three generations would go fishing. It also reminds me of how I would be affected by travel sickness caused by the summer heat and all of the tight turns of the old highway. And of course, there was no air conditioning back then. On to the present. Some camera tricks go into this setup. I have put the settings in the into 4K specifically to record crossing the Hawkesbury River Bridge and as something different I switched to using a chin mount which totally changes the perspective view. I got the chin mount as an experiment and well I kept turning my head to check the view over my shoulder. The locking class was eventually knocked loose and the drift camera that I had mounted dropped off at a busy set of lights on a major Sydney road. Small mercy it was not while I was barreling down a highway doing 100 kilometers an hour. But I thought I would try it again. Learning my lesson and this time I switched over to the DJI. I think it is more interesting with the handlebar view and the perception of being in the riding position. The other major thing is that this was a test ride of having a mounted GPS. I certainly don't need it for this trip. <laughs> for the longest time I resisted change or getting one of these things, but several recent adventures had proved to me their value. No, I didn't get lost, but I ended up missing the address of a place I was aiming for, and that happened more than once. I'd also had a very tiny little work windfall, so why wouldn't I treat myself on one of these things? I was trying to position both the second cam camera handlebar mount and the GPS so that ne neither would be blocking the instrumentation, which Yep, pretty much in this shot you can see that. I am using a Garmin Zumo XT. It is a Pacific motorcycle GPS. Um, because, of course, you are exposed to the elements, it's supposed to be have some proof against um, the elements. Now, the one thing I... Oh, sorry, step back is... Um, so the GPS is now Bluetooth connected to my Cardo 2X. The one thing I haven't done is hardwire the GPS to the motorcycle's battery. There is a cable provided, comes in the box. I instead went with a workaround. Um, first of all, I just don't feel confident doing a wiring job um, but you know anyway once I better read through the manual for some required detail and I've actually used it to navigate somewhere special I might do a review in my own, own style but so far it has been interesting to experiment especially what primarily feels like effective voice direction through the Bluetooth one of the nice discoveries that I could have both the GPS and the mobile phone simultaneously paired to the Cardo 2X and I'm actually using an iPhone 4. So a bit of an antique there, still doing the job. So just to why that's about a point is I was riding along, I was doing a test ride and I had some music playing coming through the phone and then, of course, there's just the occasional interruption of a song as the GPS cuts in to provide some direction. So I didn't find that too 
disturbing or alarming. It meant I, it felt like it, I could have my cake and eat it. The screen size, uh, if, you, if you'll see in some shots, about the same size as the, the motorcycle's display, actually. it I've used other Garmin models um, while driving, and this continues their paradigm for user interface. The one quirk is that the keyboard is only half on the screen, requiring left to right switches to access the opposite side of the QWERTY keyboard when entering an address. I'll say that's a plus because I have thick fingers, so a particular keyboard would be an opal to me. So here we've arrived at Pie in the Sky. Um, if you've never been here, it's worth a stop in. As you can see, there's a load of motorcycles here. Um, Team Green, represented there by two supercharged Kawasaki's. Um, and I did promise myself that I would stop for a pie. <laughs>